guess you know there's a few individuals that played in that test last year, so um, there was you know there's a few of us that kind of used that and what happened last year in our own individual way and um, kind of created that edge and that, and that kind of final gut um, for today and wanted to go prove a point. So um, you know um, you could say we did that, but like I said, mate, there were times where we were getting smacked too. So um, it's pretty. I, I don't think the score did the game justice because. <laughs> <laughs> felt like we were under the pump a few times. It was pretty tough out there. Um, two weeks without a game, I was definitely feeling it. I thought the boys were definitely feeling it, but uh, we managed to weather their storm a bit um, and come away with points late in the half. I was, I was expecting a lot more uh, contestables, and they used a lot of variation. They challenged our backfield by uh, using a lot of shallow kicks. So, um, yeah, I guess for us, um, we know they've got a, a diverse game plan. They look to run the ball a lot, and they use a, a range of kicking kicking methods. So you got to be on the on your toes, and they're a world class team for a reason. Um, yeah, yeah, boys, boys were were a bit hurting, and, and uh, I guess um, coming into this week, it was uh, kind of a uh, yeah, welcome welcome them to our home and um, playing in front of our home crowd, and, and yeah, kind of really set the scene for 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 this test test series. Sorry, so. Um, yeah, boys were still holding a bit of grudges, but th th you know that's footy, and um, yeah, it was good to get one on them. But yeah, we've got two games to go, so yeah. It was tough to lose that one last year, especially the back end of our tour. Um, probably sat with the boys over summer, um, and getting them here at, at Eden Park was something they were really keen on. So um, I thought the boys had a bit of an extra um, pip of the step this this week. It's just a start. It's one game out of a three-match series, and. Um, we'll be delusional to think the Ireland aren't going to throw a shot next week. We we know it's, it's it's a test match and there's ebbs and flows and teams have momentum. Then you kind of got to wrestle it back. And it was about damage control for a little bit there. We knew um, keeping them to five was a great result. And once we got into our game and played at the right end of the field, we knew you could, we knew you could get some um, dividends. So Lester was immense on the wing. He's a um, powerful ball carrier, like we all know. Um, so he did a really good job there, and Pitts coming off the bench scored a, a, a nice try. Um, something that we've got uh, to get used to at the Chiefs. So it was it was cool to see him dot over. Popular try tonight seemed to be Peter Gus's. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, as I was telling him before, he looked like he jumped from the five meter line all the way to the try line. The way he jumped into his basketball first basketball days going back. <laughs> yeah, I know. So it's very special um, that he was able to score in his debut, and um, yeah, been getting around him um, the whole week and just you know just talking to him and chatting to him, and we actually found out. Uh, that we're cousins somehow through through you know through Fiji bloodline so I mean maybe all Fijians are related but yeah. I should have said it. <laughs> yeah so um, no, it was very special for him to score his first try and um, yeah we'll, we'll celebrate with him tonight and um, his first cap there as well. So. I've never played at a Eden a, a full Eden Park like that um, but you yeah, definitely felt that it was hard to in phase play especially get a call relayed in. Um, and when we were scoring tries, the, um, the crowd was right behind us. Felt the felt it in the anthem and uh, the response to the hucker, which was cool. Well, they're a world-class side. Well, they're number two or three in the world, and we know next week they're going to be hurting, and they're hurting right now. So um, we're going to have to prepare a, a lot better than we did this week. Um, there's two more games to go, so they'll be firing plenty of shots under the roof in Dunedin. When the Irish. I mean, they've got threats all over the park and when they go forward and they get lightning quick ball, uh, it's kind of impossible to stop and you know we felt that in moments in the game and they put us under pressure towards the end as well so um, that's something we, we need to look at and, and, and how we can nullify that but mate, tonight it's happened and it's going to be um, even even tough, tougher next week. I know, I know that I just have a feeling that second test will just come hissing and um, they'll definitely pick up what um, yeah, pick up their game and pick up their set piece and uh, we knew that we had to pressure their source there which was their scrum and, and line out and there were a few few times we did. They've got some big forwards and backs. Um, we just need to tighten up a bit around that, our, our hard day around our rucks. Um, that's where they're getting us um, pretty good and their backs swing from side to side quite well and it's um, pretty hard to defend at times. We wanted to go there we knew uh, you know, Ireland loved to go to their line out and that was their, you know, um, they go to and you know we just sucked a, a fair bit of their ball and um, that's credit to our leaders and, and what, they, what they're doing so you know we we had, we kind of took the punches in that first 20 and then we kind of got back into it got into our game so hopefully we can start better um, and, and we'll look through that for next week.